topic for this video is can you be lovers without becoming a couple? Ha! Of course you can. You know, in the dozens of ways of relating relationship models and coupling models and sex models, you know, coupling and creating this unit of energy with another human being is just one of the possible models. You can relate in, you know, lots of free flow to people. You can be lovers for a while. You can have you know, one night stands, you can play on the long term without actually creating a committed relationship and you can go into marriage, you can go into, you know, all sorts of different, uh, different ways of relating. And the idea that something is pulling you into the romantic dream of creating a couple container, you know, that's very beautiful and that's great, but that's, that's not the only thing. Yes, there is a strong drive towards that because coupling represents one of the core structures or the core mindsets in society. You know, you create family, you create children, you couple to create safety. And so naturally, we are naturally drawn. You, you know, we are naturally programmed and instinctual beings to create that, to couple so that, you know, this is the container in which safety is going to be created to, uh, um, to generate a safe family. And so when we are talking about, you know, relating and sex and, you know, uh, being intimate and becoming lovers, you know, coupling, there is an intention or is it, there is a strong impulse to create that with your partner. Naturally, you have hormones kicking in, you have a whole lot of, uh, of um, uh, powers and energies which are directed towards uh, creating this couple structure. But you can consciously decide not to create a couple structure. And the way you do that is by sustaining your freedom. You know, you can be sexually exclusive with somebody, lovers exclusive, or you can have a high degree of commitment as well with somebody. You know, it can be commitment, it can be um, uh, prioritizing with somebody, have lots of um, uh, clarity, lots of intention, having common missions, you know, having a vision for the future together, you know, planning things together, checking on each other. You know, there are lots of things, lots of qualities and lots of values that you are going to incarnate with a person if you become a couple. But those qualities or those values, you know, you can decide to prepare a connection with somebody, uh, develop, enhance, cultivate a relationship with somebody that doesn't involve some of these elements. And this is being conscious lovers, you know, and there is nothing wrong with that. It doesn't mean that you don't go deep with that person. You have different degrees of depth and you have different degrees of connection and maybe the sex connection might be super strong, but then the commitment is, is open. It's in free flow. And um, what I invite you to do is to check for yourself. You know, if you're starting to get intimate with somebody, just feel into what is the right model, what is the right depth, what is the right degree of commitment or prioritizing that you want to have in this connection, in this relationship with that person. And consciously design the model that fits you rather than just falling into patterns that sometimes don't serve you. You know, sometimes what serves you is to be in a complete state of freedom. You need complete independence. You don't need to, um, to check in with somebody to, for decisions, for core um, life choice that you have to make. You need to be just in alignment with your spirit, in truth, and then somebody comes into your field and that person doesn't necessarily need to influence your core choices, doesn't need to influence your base. You know, they can, they can function in your field from a place of, you know, of freedom. So think about it. You know, you can be lovers without necessarily becoming a couple. I hope you get it. I love you.